Let's say a higher octane gasoline was dropped into the tank of a lower octane. It's considered an upgrade. In this situation, the fuel mix would be sold for a higher price and the carrier would be charged the difference. Now let's say it was the other way around. Regular gasoline was dropped into the mid-grade or the premium tank. In this situation, it would be a downgrade for the higher octane tanks. The fuel would be considered unusable and would need to be pumped out completely and replaced with the correct octane of fuel. What about a diesel and gasoline mix? This obviously would need to be pumped out as well, as these are two different types of fuel and would do irreversible engine damage if introduced to either vehicle that they're not compatible with. And last but not least, what happens to you? Uh, that depends. If it's your first offense, you may be written up and suspended, but be able to keep your job. Of course, the circumstances surrounding the mix are considered as well, but it also depends whether or not it's a uh, repeat offense. If that's the case, then obviously you'll be let go. As you can imagine, this is a very costly fix for the company, both financially as well as reputation-wise. And of course, that's without saying that it also causes problems for the gas station as well. Another thing that would be taken into account is which of these scenarios is applicable to the driver. But the best thing to do in the first place is to take your time and make sure you deliver in the right tank. Slow is smooth, smooth is fast.